outward man is perishing our inward man is being renewed day by day while we look not on things that are seen but on things that are not seen you were dying in your own sins you were destined for destruction and god had to send a crossover kid at the appointed time born as a woman who was born under the law his name was jesus christ he came and died on the cross of calvary and he loved everybody he actually said to his enemies father forgive them i want you to know that you are just a friend away from the breakthrough of your life and you must know that in this year of crossover you need people even enemies the task therefore ladies and gentlemen is how to see an open door for the praise and worship team. Job well done. God bless you so much. I want you to know something very important tonight. My wife and I prayed for you so much. When we heard that you were going to have a, an all night prayer meeting on the 31st of December, a time when there's so much rain, 
in the morning. When I was praying for you in the morning, when we had just arrived and uh, there were clouds all over and I was praying, and oh Lord, just as your servant David prayed that day, that Lord, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Let the wishes of the devil be turned into foolishness. And God promised me that this meeting will actually kickstart rains in this region. But for tonight, the Lord will spare us of the rain. There's another communication that also came concerning blessing Jesus. God was saying, because you have stretched your faith, and gone beyond what others would have thought would be done to come into a stadium. In the year of crossover anointing, 2013, the Lord has accelerated your possession, your repossession, your anointing of possession. I want to tell you and your wife that there is an increased anointing of possessing that's coming upon your life even tonight. And this is going to fall in the church that you are leading in a mighty way that has never been seen in 2013. I was so overwhelmed by what God said because your heart is big I will give you big things because your heart has been stretched I will give you big things and I want to thank God for the team that worked with Prophet Chisa to make this possible the administration and everyone running around but I know some of you had their, their, their hearts stretched out but God was working something important so that you are not people of small things, but people of big things. Big Life is one of uh, the churches that started recently in Faith in God Ministries. As a ministry, we have now close to 100 churches in five nations. But I want you to know that this is one of the fastest growing churches in faith in God ministries. Growing so powerful. Before you sit down, those who are still standing, I want to read Exodus chapter 17. And I want to thank you, son, for inviting us to come here. Exodus 17 from verse 8. I'm going to read. This message is so important for you as you traverse this coming year. The Bible says from verse 8, Exodus 17, Now Amalek came and fought with Israel in Rephidim. And Moses said to Joshua, Choose us some men and go out, fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. If you are underlining, you can underline the rod of God. So Joshua did as Moses said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron and Hare went up the top of the hill. And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands became heavy. So they took a stone, underline, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and Hare supported his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. Then the Lord said to Moses, write this for a memorial in the book, and recount it in the hearing of Joshua, that I will utterly blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under the heaven. 
and Moses built an altar and called its name the Lord is my banner or Jehovah Nisi for he said because the Lord has sworn the Lord will have war with Amalek from generation to generation may the Lord bless the reading of his word and father tonight we thank you for your word that showered upon our lives to transform us to change us to give us direction in the year that's coming to strengthen us, to give us, give us resolve and an anointing to cross over. We thank you for your word now, Father. Let nothing of mine impede the flow of your word in the name of Jesus Christ. And everybody say, Amen. I'm speaking on a subject I have entitled The Secret of Crossover. You may be seated in his presence. The secret of crossover. In the Bible, there are major crossovers that God's people experience in their walk with God. And as we analyze each and every one of them, we discover that each marked a major leap in their spiritual walk with God. Crossing of the Red Sea. Crossing of the River Jordan. Crossing over Samuel's, into Samuel's reign. The leaping over of Esther and the Jews over Haman's evil plans. And the list goes on. We are about to enter 2018. The year the Lord gave me a glimpse about on the 2nd of September this year is the year of crossover anointing. It is no secret that number 13 is associated with rebellion, corruption. It is associated with the disintegration, defection. We see this in scripture from a first mention that is in Genesis chapter 14 verse 4 which says 12 years they saved Chadolomiah and the 13th year they rebelled. And the name, the same is seen for number 13 in other portions of scripture. I want every guy to know that all over the world today, superstitious people, those who do not know the ways of God, will paint the year 2013 as littered with bad omen. Others will even call it the Friday the 13th. But for us children of God, we call it a crossover year. <clears throat> Apart from presenting great leapovers, crossovers come in appointed moments. And I want you to be very attentive tonight. Crossovers come in appointed moments. When you talk of a moment in God's word, we are talking of a selected time frame when God steps into the affairs of men and start to give you things that you never had before. When we talk of a moment, we are talking of a punch in time where God decides to step into your affairs and the impossible becomes possible immediately. In other times, you have to cry for things. You have to pray for things. You have to pray for breakthroughs. You have to exercise faith. But when a moment comes, it's a different story altogether. Because the Bible puts it this way, an appointed time. When a moment comes, things change immediately because it's appointed of God to walk through a certain door. In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible says, as God is speaking to the church at Philadelphia, He says, See, I have set before you an open door, and no man shall shut it. That's a moment. 
And I'm declaring that in this coming year, many of you who are seated in this place, the Lord has selected a moment for you. And it's a moment that as God opens the door, no man can shut it. Paul in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9 says, A great and effective door has been opened to me. And there are many adversaries. That means when there is a door that has opened a moment that God has given you, the enemy will not sit by. He will lash out at you and he wants to discourage you. Therefore, in God's word, we note that whenever there was a storm prepared by the devil, God always gave his people an anointing to cross over. You don't get an anointing to just sit at home. It's an anointing to cross over what is blocking your entrance of a door. When Jericho with its fortified walls stood before the children of Israel, God instructed the children of Israel to go around the city 13 times. Once every day for six days and seven times the seventh day. On that day, after 13 times going around the city, Jericho fell never to be built again. That means when the devil presents his 13, God will present his better 13. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord raises a standard against him. I remember a story when a certain man by the name Haman was about to exterminate the Jews. And he had put up a very good plan to kill all the Jews. But I thank God because in that very moment God had already put in the palace a crossover girl by the name Esther and Esther came out in the anointing of a crossover and Haman died instead there's something that's happening in this stadium tonight because the Lord knew it right from the beginning that you will be very important in your time you will be very important in your family to make sure that there is a crossover in your family people that never would worship God coming to the Lord people that depended on witchcraft the rest of their lives coming to the Lord just because of you and God positioned you to come in the stadium today to receive Jesus as your personal savior just to set you up it's a set up against the devil in your family a door has been opened Tonight a door has been opened and there are many adversaries but once it's opened no man can shut it. Even those people who hate you so much they cannot shut what God has opened. They cannot open what God has shut. The task therefore ladies and gentlemen is how to see an open door. Because for many of you, the Lord will be showing you throughout the year, this is an open door. But many will fail to see an open door. There was a time when Elisha the prophet was confounding critics. The army of the Assyrians, they would get surprised. They would plan against the Israelites. They would plan very well, but somebody would seem like telling them because the Israelites would evade every ambush. Until somebody said, no, there's something wrong. Somebody is telling the Israelites our plans. Certain young man raised up his hand and he said, no, king, there is a prophet in Israel. He tells the king of Israel every secret 
that happens in our army and they said where is he we want to kill him and they went they said he's in Dotha they surrounded the city they were about to kill Elisha and his servant the servant looked and he said master we have perished the armies of the Assyrians have surrounded us and then the man of God woke up and he said those who are with us are more than those who are against us and then because Elisha was seeing the army of God that was around him and he prayed a prayer Lord open the eyes of my servant that he may see the armies that are on our side in other words he was saying God open the eyes of my servant to see the open door that we have today my prayer today is that may God open someone's eyes to see when doors open I am not going to miss my door when it opens I'm going to see it well, some of the prayers that will be made as I finish preaching is that God opens your eyes because you are not going to miss your business deals this coming year the devil is not going to make it the devil will not be able to evade the plans of God that's upon your lives there are two secrets I am giving you tonight so you are able to create conditions suitable for crossover the first one is any crossover must find you lifting up the name any crossover must find you lifting up the name the Bible says where we have just read now Amalek came and fought with Israel and Rephidim and Moses said to Joshua choose us some men and go out fight with Amalek tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron and Hare went up to the top of the hill. And so it was when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. Amalek came to fight with Israel. Remember who they were. They were a descendant of Esau, the brother of Israel or Jacob. So of course they had a vendetta with Jacob who stole their forefathers birthright. Moses commands Joshua to lead a battalion and fight Amalek. The name Joshua is the Hebrew name Yeshua which means savior that means in the valley the savior was with the armies of israel but this was not complete there had to be an activity on the mountain somewhere in the spirit realm and that activity was carried about by three men moses raising up the rod as they lift as he lifted up the rod then Amalek down there was being defeated and as he got tired and let down the hand the Israelites were getting defeated now let me give you a little bit of history concerning this rod so that you understand what it is this rod, if you read the book of Exodus chapter 3, you will understand that Moses was talking to God before a burning bush. And God said, I want you to go and free my people. And Moses was saying, I stammer, I cannot do that. And God said, your brother Aaron will go with you. He continued to argue with God. And he said, what if the people don't believe me? And God said, what is in your hand? And he said, it's a rod. And God said, put it down. Now, 
now before he put it down it was the rod of Moses and then it turned into a snake and God said touch the snake hold the snake and Moses held the snake by the tail and it became a rod again from that moment if you read scripture it was no longer the rod of Moses it was the rod of God that means God took Moses rod turned it into the nastiest thing on earth serpent the devil himself because these are types and shadows talking about Jesus Christ on the cross who became like the devil full of sins just for you and me and he was carrying the sins of the world in totality in other words that day the rod of Moses was changed into the rod of God symbolizing Jesus himself so when they stood on the mountain and Moses was raising the rod he was raising the name above every other name the name of Jesus Christ he was raising the deliverer of the whole world let me give you a secret tonight if ever there is anything you are going to do in 2013 no matter what storms come your way, learn this secret of crossover. Lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Raise it up above everything else. And tonight we start it. No matter what happens in your life, lift up the name. No matter people speak against you, lift up the name. No matter your children go sick in the middle of the night, shout the name. When your children are getting dull at school, stand up in your bedroom and shout the name above every other name. Tonight we have no other name given under heaven by which we must be saved. I wish I had another name. I only have the name of Jesus Christ. In every situation, that is the name that the devil fears. They lifted up the name on the hill in prayer. And what was happening on the hill was mirrored down to the valley. That means the physical war was being fought on the hill. What was happening in the valley as Joshua was fighting the Amalekites was a mirror image of the war that was happening in the spirit realm. The Bible says we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may not be of us but of God. It says again we are struck down but not destroyed, perplexed but not in despair, persecuted but not forsaken. Therefore we do not lose heart though our outward man is perishing our inward man is being renewed day by day while we look not on things that are seen but on things that are not seen for the things that are seen are temporary but the things that are not seen are eternal that means the things that are not seen are the things that originate the things that are seen So before your husband comes back home and obey this book that you believe in, you're going to have to have mountain activity. There has to be mountain activity which involves prayer and faith which I had been talked about here. I believe that you are the son of the living God. That this situation will not remain with me this situation will change we start to lift up the name things start to happen in the natural the war was fought on the mountain the real war was fought and won on the mountain but it then reflected in the natural can 
I say to you tonight, we are going to be lifting up the name. The name above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ. He is Yeshua. That means Joshua was actually a type of Yeshua, the Savior, as he was fighting the Amalekites. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus gives the difference. I gave you an, a, a, my, my, my testimony the other time when my wife got like paralyzed on one side. This was in the 90s. And we had carried each other. We were going to hospital. When I remember to sing this name, the name of Jesus Christ. Don't sing my name when things are difficult. Sing the name of Jesus Christ. Don't sing the name of your pastor when things are difficult. Sing the name of Jesus Christ. It's so powerful. Demons fear that name. Demons fear the name of Jesus. Demons fear Jesus Christ. I sang the name and I was saying there is power in the name of Jesus. As we approached Samora Michelle, my wife said, stop the car. I've been healed. She, she could not walk, but she walked out and she was totally healed. Can I say to you, this name has kept us in health as a family. It has kept me in health just shouting it every morning and saying lord i thank you for the day before i drive a car i always say lord i thank you for the this journey i will come back without a problem thank you for this journey it's the name that demons fear You know, I was saying, I was just remembering that the last time I went into hospital was in 1982. And when I went into 82, it was to go on and, and just be injected this yellow fever as I was going to another country. Because of this name. The name of Jesus Christ. In 2013, as our nation goes into elections if they happen in 2018 the church of jesus christ must have a position on the hill and stand on the hill lifting up the name above every other name when we do that everything that will happen down there will be determined by the lifting up of the name of jesus christ our nation will never be the same again because our nation takes his mirror image from the church that means therefore we are not going to be squabbling and talking against each other we are going to love each other then when we do that and stand together and pray for the nation there is a crossover of this nation this coming year don't ever think whether there is an election or not whatever it is that will happen the lord showed me that the nation is crossing over god is setting us on a platform that will shock the world god is setting us on a platform that will shock the world our economy will start at least to have a starting point going up when we were having our ESC, I said that two, three centers of the economy will rise up in this nation next year. Agriculture will start to have a footing, mining and tourism. Every child of God must jump into these three sectors because they are going to be very crucial as we go on. But it's the church that will put the image so that things start to change down there i declare in the name of jesus christ that there's a crossover in our economy there's a crossover in our mining there's a crossover in our political system there's a crossover there's going to be a level of maturity as we talk about our politics
political situation because you and I are brothers and sisters and there's going to be a level of maturity that will start to be seen it cannot be men's doing it has to be the doing of the Lord and we declare it in this meeting that is going to happen it is going to happen I said the other time there is a spiritual throne in every nation so don't worry about who sits on the natural throne better worry about who is sitting on the spiritual throne in a nation who is on the spiritual throne in Zimbabwe he is the one who will determine who, what goes on in the natural throne as long the spiritual throne the church of Jesus Christ is sitting there everything will go according to God's plan on the natural that's why you see as we come into this year God has a set a crossover anointing and we will never become the laughing stock of the world again in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and so can you just raise up your hand your two hands and lift them up high give me a J give me an E give me an S give me a U another S what do we have there is power in the name of there is healing in the name of there is crossover in the name of the last point I want to give you is any crossover must find you abounding in the spirit of love and unity the first one is you must be found lifting up the name when a child is sick in the middle of the night before you take the child to hospital call the name the name of Jesus Christ when things are going bad in your marriage and your husband says pack and go call the name of Jesus Christ don't rush I'm claiming in this place that if they told you to pack your bags in 2012 in 2018 put every bag back in its place in the bedroom put everything back refuse to go refuse to go refuse to release your marriage because it belongs to God it's your marriage you cannot just give it like that it's a radical year it's a year for radicals in the spirit world and you must be very stubborn this coming year any crossover must find you abounding in the spirit of love the bible says but moses hands became heavy so they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it and Aaron and Hare supported his hands one on one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun so Joshua defeated Amalek the Bible says in Psalms 133 behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity in the last verse it says for there the Lord commands a blessing and you want you to know that your greatest strength in this coming year is coming because you know this secret in Romans chapter 12 verse 18 the Bible says if it is possible as much as depends on you live peaceably with all men do you know why you have to live peaceably with all men because you don't know the person God is going to use for the opening of your door in your life ladies and gentlemen on the mountain two tribes were represented Israel had 12 tribes but on the mountain two tribes were represented they were standing in unity just for one cause 
and it's a cry of my heart that we understand this reality that our father is in three god the father god the son god the holy spirit they are one there is power in unity there is irreversible power in unity and tonight some families that were alienated for too long are coming back together again those who had fought each other for many years in 2018 they are finding their way to each other in the name of jesus christ moses and aaron were from one tribe the tribe of levi hey was from another tribe the tribe of judah down in the valley the man who was fighting the name was joshua he was from another tribe the tribe of Ephraim. and the bible says that as moses was lifting up the rod he became tired and immediately two men came on his side one on the other and the other on the left Aaron and Hair they stood together you hate Anambia but you don't know that in your line of destiny it's arranged that it's someone who is Anambia who is going to walk through with you through the door of your success you hate and devil but you don't know that in your line of destiny god has put and devil to make sure that you prosper in everything that you do you hate and shona but in your line of destiny god has said nothing will be done without that man who is a shona you hate a nigerian but god is saying without that man who is a nigerian nothing will happen in your life tonight i want you to say to somebody you are my partner in this war hallelujah 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 i want you to know that you are just a friend away from the breakthrough of your life and you must know that in this year of crossover you need people even enemies those who hate you those who don't want to see you they are the very people who have the blessing of your life on their shoulders they are carrying heavy stuff for you and tonight they have to bring down the stuff of your life i refuse that they go with your stuff your babam kuru they say he has goblins but i say to you that goblin man has got the blessing of your life and you must love him with the love of jesus christ because there is no way out that you are going to have a breakthrough hallelujah hallelujah joseph in prison needed the butler to be set free John and Peter in prison needed the prayer warriors in the upper room. Moses lifting up the rod of God for, for the armies of God to prevail needed Aaron and Hur. Listen, how do you know that there is a great door about to open in my life how do you know that a moment has come how do you know that something good is about to happen in my life when you see the devil is jittery about your life he's not settled about your life he's throwing everything at you then you know that something good is about to happen in my life something good is about to happen in my life was about to free the children of Israel 430 years they were under bondage 430 years and when the moment came when the crossover moment came no one could shut the door but 
for him to do that, I want you to see the pattern. A cross over kid and to be born. His name was Moses. He appeared on the scene. He was written all over crossover child. I think he was written all over crossover kid. And when he came on the scene, Pharaoh started killing every child. In castle, somewhere he can meet with the crossover child and kill him. But you can never kill a crossover kid. You can never kill crossover material. I declare in this press today there are crossover children who are right in this stadium and they are ready to usher in a new dispensation. They are ready to usher in a new dispensation in their families, in their towns, in this nation. Give me a J. Give me an E. Give me an S. Give me a U. Give me another S. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? There is power in the name of. There is crossover in the name of. You need me. I need you. You need me. I need you. You need the prophet. I need him. You need everyone who is around you. You don't know who has been set up by God for you to cross over in this coming year. You don't know. Tend to your neighbor and say, I have to be very careful about you because I don't know if you are if you are the crossover kid in my life. I don't know to be very careful about you because maybe you are the crossover kid in my life. You were dying in your own sins. You were destined for destruction and God had to send a crossover kid at the appointed time born of a woman who was born under the law. His name was Jesus Christ. He came and died on the cross of Calvary and he loved everybody. He actually said to his enemies, Father forgive them. Father forgive them. You don't want your enemy to die. You want your enemy to see the greatness of the Lord in your life. He cannot die. He should come to know the truth. This is the story of salvation. Even the son of man, when he came, John was before him and he announced that someone is coming whose sandals are not even fit to untie. He must increase, I must decrease. The master said, baptize me, John. John said, I cannot baptize you because I know you. But the master said, baptize me. He knew the secrets of unity. Can I say to you, Matebelelem, can I say to you, Bulawayo, this part of Zimbabwe has been disenfranchised for a long time. Even the rain has not come in due season. Everything has just gone bad for you. But I want to give you a secret in this coming year. I want you to love the unlovable. I want you to forgive the unforgivable. I want you to know that when you do that, there is a power that comes from heaven and hits down on the land and heals this land. There is a secret that you must never forget. As the activity of the mountain continues, goes to heaven, and then the power comes down to the valley. Major wars are won in the spirit, they are not won down here. So, what we see even in our nation, you don't need to worry. 
because even politicians are starting to speak peace don't ever joke with that and think that no it's just one of those talks no it's coming from the mountain and then it goes down and they just start to do the right thing don't think that they are joking when the president says when the president says don't fight each other he means it when the prime minister says don't fight each other he means it because it's coming from the mountain and no one can say no to it when I'm praying these days and praying for our leaders I always say Lord help them to see what you are doing concerning this nation when Joshua was fighting when Aaron and Hare were holding the hands of Moses it was not for their generation only it was for generations to come when we do whatever we do it's not for us I like the mother of Jesus Mary she says when she was pregnant with Jesus she says from now onwards every generation will call me blessed in other words when she was carving character when she was running away from sin she was not doing it for herself she was doing it for generations that would come can I say to you when you start to lift the name of Jesus and not mix him with any other religion and not mix him with any other thing then what you are doing is you are doing it for generations to come your children will grow in the fear of the Lord anything repeated eventually goes into the blood and so your children will just live the life of the fear of God they don't struggle because you were not playing church as we go into the air get ready get ready because there will be crossovers in different areas of your life different areas crossovers different areas of your life lift up your hands give me a J give me an E give me an S give me a U another S what do we have to stand on your feet and we want to lift up the name the name above every other name the name of Jesus Christ we want to do it in style because this name the name of Jesus has seen nations cross over and our nation can never be an exception I want you to know that even our nation can never be an exception and my job tonight is very simple I'm standing by your side that you cross over in the areas that the devil had said you will never cross over I'm standing by your side in 2018 I will repeat our nation will start to experience a level of maturity on the political front. We come against bloodshed. We come against hatred in the name of Jesus Christ. We call upon our leaders to give our people a chance to forgive each other. Because the nation is about to cross over. Love those that you never loved. Hug those that you never hug. From this meeting, visit them. Don't wish they were dead. No, they are carrying your blessings. They are heavy with your stuff. And I want, I want you to pray in this meeting tonight. And say, Lord, give me the love of Jesus Christ. 
With men it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Lord, give me the love of Jesus Christ. Right now when you close your eyes, you actually know, so and so, on, I cannot forgive them. So and so, on, I cannot forgive them. But I want you to do something. Say, Lord, give me the power to forgive. Because that's where the key is. To let God forgive. The Lord has prospered me so much. My father ran away from Guru because there, their relatives wanted to kill them. But I visited those people. I'm talking of 50 years later. I visited those people and loved them. Yet I could see they don't even love me. There's a secret in that I want you to pray a prayer and it's just that simple. Lord, help me, give me the eyes to see my doors when they open. Number two, help me to love my enemies. Because you, Jesus, you said, love your enemies. I want you to raise up your hands right up and say, Lord Jesus, help me to love my enemies come on open your mouth in prayer father we pray tonight we thank you master that you are ushering us into another dispensation you are ushering us into another level of communication with you another level oh master another level of dealing with spiritual things help us oh god to live in unity and love give us the love of jesus christ we pray for the love of jesus christ open your mouth and pray and say lord give me the love of jesus christ if you can walk around in this place and say lord i need the love of jesus christ i want the love of jesus christ fill me with the love of jesus christ to love the unlovable to forgive the unforgivable may god give you that ability open your mouth open your mouth may the spirit of god give you that love of jesus christ tonight in the name of jesus lord we're praying that you open our eyes to see doors when they open in our lives to see doors when they open give us the eyes to see in the mighty name of jesus give us the eyes to see in the name of jesus give us the eyes to see in the mighty name of jesus open our eyes to see when you open doors open our eyes to see when the moment of our lives come in the name of jesus christ open our eyes to see in the name of jesus thank you father I want you to hold the hands of someone next to you. We are going to sing. This is what the Lord had told me to do. And we are going to sing this song. Zimbabwe. We want to sing that song. Just join someone's hands. And I would want those who can help me sing that song. Those who can help me sing that song. Zimbabwe. Ishe kambore ra sikba re kai simu ziwe sitara. <laughs> 